Hey guys, my name's Christina, and if you guys are planning on towing with your RAV4, it is required by law to have trailer wiring on your vehicle. So let's go ahead and break down this easy installation for you guys. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Most of our installation is gonna be in the cargo area, so we're gonna have to get to our tail light harnesses, which are gonna be behind both of the panels. To start, we're gonna go ahead and remove the floor coverings. Next, we're, we're gonna be removing the storage covers, both on the driver and the passenger side. Next, we're gonna be removing the scruff panel. The scruff panel is gonna be held in by four clips. We're gonna be removing our tie down bracket on the driver's side using our 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna go ahead and repeat on the passenger side. Next, we're gonna have to remove our two push pins um, using a flathead screwdriver. We'll go ahead and repeat on the driver's side. So over here on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and pull our panel out so that we can get to the tail light. We are gonna have to maneuver over the tie down hook screw. Over here on the driver's side, our tail light harness is gonna be this bottom one right here. We're gonna to wanna to unplug it so we can plug in our T-connector. We're gonna take our yellow and brown T-connector side and plug it in. Next, we're gonna to wanna to route our green and red wire to the passenger side. We're gonna be repeating the same steps. on the driver's side. We're gonna take our provided self-tapping screw and go ahead and ground the white wire. Next, we're gonna have to get our power wire installed. We're gonna be running it on the outside of the vehicle. To do so, we're gonna be using this rubber grommet um, as our access point. So now we're ready to go ahead and run our power wire. I'm gonna be using an, a U-Haul exclusive power wire. It's got protective lube on it and the fuse holder is already connected to the wire. We're gonna be using our battery, which is gonna be on the driver's side part of the vehicle. To get our power wire connected from the battery to the converter box, we're going to be running it down beside these brake lines by the reservoir, which are gonna take us safely down to the bottom of the vehicle. To avoid pulling all of our wires through the engine compartment, we're gonna go ahead and zip tie our fuse holder to this bundle of wires right here. Our power wire is gonna fall down right through these panels, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it all the way through. We're gonna be running our power wire on the inside of these panels right here to avoid anything hot or moving. We're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket and a flathead to go ahead and get on the inside of these panels.
Now that we've reached the end of the paneling, we're gonna go ahead and run our power wire above this cross member to the back of the vehicle. We're gonna secure our line with our zip ties. We're gonna run our wire on the top of this beam right here on the driver's side to get to our rubber grommet. Now we're gonna push our wire through the rubber grommet hole into our cargo area. Now that our power wire is ran and up through the inside, we're gonna go ahead and connect it to our converter box with our heat shrink buck connector. We're gonna use our butane torch to go ahead and shrink it. So there's two ways to route your four flat wiring. You can go ahead and leave it inside the cargo area and go ahead and pull it out when you're ready. Or we can run it on the outside of the vehicle towards the hitch. We're gonna be running it to the outside of the vehicle. So let's go ahead and show you how to get it on the outside. We're gonna route our four flat wiring through the same rubber grommet that we brought up the power wire with. We're gonna reinstall our grommet. We're gonna to wanna to cut a slit for the wires to sit in and then we'll replace it back in. Now that we have our wires in place and everything, we're gonna go ahead and put everything back together. I'm gonna be starting on the driver's side. Now that the four flat is on the outside of the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and route it behind the bumper support beam to the center of the hitch, avoiding the exhaust. Now that our wiring is to the center of the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and mount it using our four flat wiring bracket. It does not come with the kit. Be sure to pick one up at your closest U-Haul or at uhaul.com. I'm gonna be using a 3 16 drill bit to drill our first hole. We're gonna use our 3 8 socket to go ahead and tighten these screws. We're gonna go ahead and take our four flat wiring and push it through our harness, making sure it snaps in all the way and then placing our dust cover onto the four flat. We're gonna go ahead and zip tie our excess wiring up so that it doesn't hang or drag. We're gonna go ahead and get to the positive side of the battery. Using a 12 millimeter socket, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the nut. Last step, we're gonna to need to insert a 15 amp fuse into our fuse holder.
Now that you guys have trailer wiring on your vehicle, you guys can go hit the great outdoors. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.